15 years ago, here in Baghdad, people watched the sunrise over a city that had been subjected to a night of so-called shock and awe airstrikes that marked the start of the war in Iraq. Rather than peace and security, what came next was a sectarian conflict that ultimately led to the rise of a group so brutal and powerful it threatened to erase the very name Iraq in its quest to build a global Islamist caliphate. ISIL emerged from the remnants of al-Qaeda in Iraq, which in turn grew out of the sectarian conflict that followed the US-led invasion in 2003. In 2014, the jihadist group made headlines worldwide as it captured large parts of Iraq and Syria, carrying out regular atrocities, including beheadings and the mass murder of captured Iraqi soldiers. No one could accept what was happening. All the Iraqis could not accept, Sunnis or Shiites, even other sects would not accept. But because of the bad mismanagement of the crisis, as well as the security and military who didn't do their constitutional job, that's why there was a collapse. Later that year, the group's leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, stood in a mosque in recently captured Mosul, where he announced the creation of an Islamic State caliphate that pushed as far west as Aleppo in Syria. Two months later, a U.S.-led coalition began airstrikes targeting the group in Iraq, expanding the bombing campaign into Syria the following month. ISIL lost some territory. But more than 8,000 airstrikes over 12 months failed to dislodge the extremist group from its strongholds. All the while, ISIL expanded into other countries, including Libya, while carrying out attacks abroad from the United States and Egypt to France. Two years ago, the tide finally began to turn in Iraq, with the country's special forces recapturing key cities like Tikrit and Fallujah. The final battle for ISIL's stronghold Mosul was the world's largest military operation since the U.S.-led invasion. ISIL brought unimaginable misery, but the fight against them also brought a degree of unity to a country that had found itself divided along religious lines. What happened was a great thing and shows how Iraqis are brave and proud of their country. All Sunnis and Shiite and the rest inside Iraq their cooperation has made a great event, and we were really proud to show the rest of the world. The challenge now is to build on the unity forged in the fight against the extremist group. Jack Barton, CGTN, Baghdad.